Hello promising traders, Alex here from promisingtrader.com. Apologies in advance for the background noise that you may hear. It's the dehumidifier, but unfortunately, yesterday when I was recording the videos, I turned it off and then I forgot to turn it back on and my wife preached me and I said, okay, you know what? I'm not going to shut it down today. So apologies, uh, well, the fan eventually of my laptop will start blowing anyway and make noise because I, th I think I've got too many indicators like all these EMAs, all this stuff is calculated real time basically so yeah it's uh, demanding but anyway you will hear me however you will I mean you will hear me anyway now yesterday I was feeling bearish towards Bitcoin because I, I also sense it's time to, to be dumped and but yeah and there were some indications but not very bearish I mean and I always said Bitcoin is going to be bullish on a long run on a long term if we check monthly Bitcoin is insanely bullish it's no really no bearish at all actually the the fun has just begun for those who want to go up with Bitcoin the fun has just begun now um, we can see that we, we just we just touched the 60 RSI on a monthly perspective on a monthly time frame and MACD is just crossing the the red line from the bottom so the blue line crosses the red line I haven't explained these things yet in my tutorials but eventually I will get there unfortunately I realize it takes about one month for me to make a video tutorial but it's because I wait for other people I outsource so many of the things that I do for those videos and then takes time and then I also cannot spend so much time on, on making these tutorials I mean I've got just other many other things to do as well so I enjoy doing it but it will take time so these indicators will come promise but not yet uh, said so MACD the histogram is trending up which is clear you don't need an explanation the histogram is trending up this line goes up when the blue line crosses the red line from the bottom that's good news if you bet that it goes up if you want to go long meaning it goes up if it goes down you go short I'm sorry for those who know this stuff but there are people who may be following me and don't know what I'm talking about um, in a weekly perspective this week unlike the month the month is nearly at the end because today is the 25th of June and it's almost 8 a.m. in the UK so Greenwich time I'm sorry I'm in this time zone so <laughs> If you are in America, you probably are not used to this kind of stuff, but yeah, there, there is much more content from the Americans. But yeah, I'm, the candles really don't, don't, don't change, it's just a matter of what time I'm recording the video, really. Uh, on a weekly perspective, we had this insane thing here. We had this... This was, in terms of candlesticks, I think very few people would have thought, above all after this, that Bitcoin was going to go again up, really. Uh, a doji, uh, when the market is overbought, uh, where there are no other dojis, after a bull run, usually a doji indicates the, a, a potential reversal, but it needs confirmation, which we had with this red, huge red week. I mean, only the last days of the week, they just saved a little bit of this, uh, candle body candle I and mean, they made this uh, very small uh, lower shadow but yeah it was very very weird but you know I should also mention that I because I I don't have so much experience in general and I started now to reevaluate the candlesticks power I can also think well maybe Bitcoin dojis are not very powerful but because in candlesticks there are patterns or uh, sim simple candlesticks that are not as effective as other patterns are so it really depends on the market and that comes with the experience which I don't have I'm making it with you during these videos so thank you for that <laughs> and thanks for keep watching it and for, for commenting wherever you look at them so if you are on YouTube Facebook Twitter whenever wherever I really appreciate all of your comments I really do and so yeah I'll go ahead and we can, I wish one day we will be discussing together about things that maybe either parts did not consider 
that would be amazing and i hope one day we will do it actually i invite you to do that today in the comments it doesn't matter where you can do it on the facebook group that i have there are links all over the place so you will find this stuff um on the facebook page or uh, here on youtube ideally youtube would be easier for me to track but that's fine wherever wherever i'll, I'll, I'll try to catch up with everybody if you ever uh, start discussing about my analysis and and see and maybe spot something that I didn't spot or raise points that would be lovely because I'm not a teacher at all what I'm teaching what I'm what I'm doing with this channel is guiding the newbies through the right path because when I started I really I started with a book that yeah it was useful the first two three chapters and then I started not to understand anything because it was too early for that book and I still have many above all the Constance, Constance Brown's ones that I need to go through again and probably thanks to this content that I'm creating which makes me more uh, into this stuff will probably help um, but yeah the very very useful one is the candlesticks one that I just told you several times that I'm making the video hopefully this week will be ready I just cannot promise I, I still need to receive the drawings uh, the guy the artist told me that he will send me some sketches today just for approval and hopefully if they are approved it won't take long for him to finish the job and give me the sketches so that I can complete the video which is basically nearly done it's yes it's waiting for the, the drawings but I still need to finish some examples of candlestick patterns some reversal signals but yeah what I do with this is just guiding people through the right um, contents materials that I have read that I am using so I'm not recommending things that I don't use I'm recommending things that I am using that I have used that I'm happy with which is what I do and in fact there are tons of links in the description that you can use and I try also to make it more compatible with everybody so I got the Amazon links are I try to put them for every single Amazon marketplace that I can understand I know there is Japanese and probably there's Amazon India as well I haven't gone yet there but I mean the European and the North American links are there for you um, said so uh, we are on the weekly in the weekly I was saying here we were expecting Bitcoin to drop but Bitcoin actually engulfed this engulfing pattern <laughs> again and um, even though well, in, in this case an engulfing pattern at the top of a bullish run doesn't really mean much but however these are two big big candles and this one may be also considered like a belt hold candlestick now this one because it's just new it's two days old actually it's just one day and some old it could become as big as these two and that would be the three nights the three nights is another famous candlestick pattern which uh let's see foresee forecasts um an uptrend but you know I don't I don't see this happening to be honest yesterday this one was a dodgy yesterday evening this one was a do dodgy for me yesterday evening was probably yesterday afternoon for the Americans um, yesterday uh, half past eight ish in the UK time so um, it looks though that Bitcoin is trending up again on a weekly but on a weekly we can see it's bouncing over or actually below the 80 RSI despite going up which is usually not a, a very bullish signal I mean it can go up for quite a while but we will see probably RSI dropping and eventually Bitcoin as well MACD is not showing the drop yet in fact it's showing like it's going up and also these lines are so far between each other that before I can see okay it's gone I need to see them getting closer which is probably not going to happen this week and either the next week but there could be corrections, corrections like reaching the 50% retracement indeed and that would not affect much anything in here because in the week we can have a day with a correction and then go up so the, the histogram will still go up, RSI will still be bullish and MACD will still be as we see it now so yeah, I'm, I'm not, yesterday I wasn't saying that Bitcoin has finished the steam Bitcoin probably is about to make a correction and to be honest, even if yesterday I drew this area of support and resistance, I'm still it's still not confirmed, at least not on a weekly. I, I promise I'm not, I haven't seen Bitcoin yet today, so I'm watching it with you for the first time today. 
usually between Tuesdays and Fridays I'm a little more I'm, I'm a little later with my analysis because I have other things to do in the morning but between Saturday and Monday I must be early because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do the videos later however we are on the daily on the daily we see this shooting star we see this small body candles uh, this one is still too young to be evaluated but however we haven't really broken this resistance area here we haven't closed yet above this resistance area and even if it goes slightly above such as this one I still would not be completely sure the it's not going to drop though do I think it's going to drop now uh, I don't think so I changed my mind but one very important thing that maybe this is for the newbies more than for other people I, I hope there are people more expert than me because it's not difficult to be more expert than me I just one year trading so you must be somewhere expert traders watching me and maybe laughing at what I'm saying but I, well <laughs> it can it can be um, this is very important for the newbies now if you remember when Bitcoin was around here I was I was thinking we were doing a head and shoulders pattern I mean I, I, I was considering the possibility to do it and I was saying yeah if you buy Bitcoin here you just put your uh, stop loss here now I'm not saying the prices because it's not going to happen it's already in the past and if it comes here then you sell but you know the, the thing is that's the way you, you, you trade if you started trading here even if now I thought it was going to drop. First, it would be immensely profitable. We're talking about like 50% profit-ish. Well, 50% 50, 50 ish profit, which is a lot. I mean, $1,000, it will have now $1,500-ish. But, you know, that the way you play this stuff is whenever you find the next resistance area, you just place your sell order at least at least a part of it at least the profit you sell them so you you put them back in your pocket right and like for instance look at this when when you see that it's going to go up again you may enter again from here maybe with even more money uh, to the next resistance area which in this case here at least on a daily it wasn't even taken into consideration it was just broken boom boom but here the same and now you have maybe still some of your money in Bitcoin but you have taken profit and obviously your stop loss set here meaning stop loss is when you uh, don't accept any further to lose money so if you got it wrong that's has as much as you are are willing to lose you know the, the discuss the discussion that I made about uh, the, the winning coin being ten dollars and the losing coin being five dollars in the first video the successful trade or survival kit which I'm going to link here now if I don't forget if I forget please let me know um you will increase your I mean you, yeah you will raise it will follow it will follow the trend so for instance now you may have your stop loss here right if things go really bad you may have we were here let's say you may have a 20 percent profit okay because it it drops and you sell and you close your position but still you will be profit now you are on a stage if you enter here you are on a stage in which you are no longer losing money you're maybe not making enough money as much money as you wanted which is not something you should be concerned really yeah you should try to optimize but as long as you don't lose money that would be awesome so and that would be it and now if it breaks this which I'm not yet confirming that and also please be um, uh, aware that this is not financial or trading advice this is just my mere opinion and observations on Bitcoin or the market in general because I'm not a financial advisor I'm not even a very expert trader so there are people who are much better than me I'm just trying uh, so yeah I've got every time I say something about 50% chances to be right like yesterday yesterday I thought it was going to drop and it didn't it didn't but it doesn't matter because you have taken profit now you are just waiting for a confirmation to enter from here going up 
which possibly is something that we will do today, right? Um, RSI, let's go back to the analysis, RSI uh, line that I made here, this trend line, this purple trend line, is being, actually, let me just put it, wow, it's very steep, it's very steep, it is being respected so far, and we are entering a very bullish value on RSI, we are over 80, over 80, yeah, Bitcoin is most likely going to go up than down, really, so yesterday I was wrong, thinking it was going down, it's probably not going to go down, but that's the way you do, you enter again, you're not losing money anymore, so yeah, you can be wrong, anytime you have 50% chance, you can either go up or down, so if you are in the wrong side, just be sure that you're not losing too much money, or yeah, you may, in this case, you're just maybe not making enough profit, but we want it to drop maybe at uh, 34 EMA, which is uh, nearly $10,000. So the, the, the 12 hours is completely useless at the moment because the candle is exactly the same, because this is the first candle of the two candles days, because yeah, this is the 12 hours and then we have another 12 hours later. Uh, but we can see still here that RSI doesn't look like it wants to go higher than the previous high, which, which means that there is going to be divergence if it happens. If it happens because this is higher than this, where is it, this? So there will be divergence, and actually look at MACD. MACD is trending now, down now. Yeah, with this one, we don't know yet. However, there will be for sure some more 12 hours candles before it really crosses. And we've seen it happening here already. It was trending down, but then it didn't even bounce. It just resumed the uptrend. And now maybe it's the same, or maybe not. We don't know. Um, if we go in this in the six hours, the six hours we see the beautiful shooting star here, which was the the one time period, the time frame that I make me think, yeah, it's gone. Because look, there is a hammer, but the hammer, yeah, I call it hammer in cryptocurrencies, even if the upper shadow is probably not a hammer. So we have two spinning tops. This one was really extreme. And then we have the hammer, but the hammer was not confirmed because we had this. Well, it's not. It's not. Um, it's not. It's not a shooting star. It's nothing. This one is absolutely nothing. Then we had these small, relatively small body candles uh, expressing an indecision. Then we had this shooting star, another hammer. The hammer was not confirmed though, but the shooting star, I would say, and I think I said it yesterday. That this is the. The resistance, the new resistance, which that's why I've, I've, I've drawn this red rectangle here. Now, tonight in England, um, at 1 a.m., this candle was formed and it closed above, despite this doji, actually this doji here I need to study more because I know more of the, 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 the doji with the line at the center in the middle of the body, not here. This, I need, before I say something about it, I want to make sure, so I'm not saying anything about this. Um, so, tonight in the 6 hours, Bitcoin closed above the resistance, well, I would say it's still not certain because it's so close that I wouldn't count it, I would disregard this. And now it looks like it tried to go up but it's not really holding and uh, despite RSI being very on a very bullish area, we, yeah, we have kind of an attempt to cross it was this one was pretty strong and now it's trying to go up again will it go up i have no confirmation not in this time frame at least let's check the three hours or the four hours there are people checking the four hours why don't i check the four hours in the four hours we which is almost done we this candle is one hour away from being completed we can see a reversal we can see yeah it crossed which is you know what I was thinking was going to happen, but 
you see it found support at 60 RSI and now it's again overbought which you know makes me think it's going to go up hmm it's interesting it is interesting so this resistance area just now is going to be the new support area okay now this one is support you remember when I said this is going to be resistance and in fact it's been resistance for a while but we broke it now we have this new resistance here so this area is crucial but it looks like Bitcoin is yes going to go up again look it crossed it did this little bit of correction and now it's trending up again um, yeah, so my feelings start to become more bullish than bearish at the moment with Bitcoin because I see the short time frame. In long time frames, we don't see uh, decl declining Bitcoin in the indicator. So, and every changes occurs in lower time frames. So, this is probably indicating is confirming the uptrend that we see in the long terms. In the three hours, there's not much difference. Bitcoin is bouncing on the 60 twice, which is a very good sign. Now it's, it's flirting with the overbought. MACD is crossing, the blue line is crossing the red line. So this is a bullish signal. So yes, I would probably enter a position on Bitcoin and go back again bullish. Bullish up to what? Let's see. Uh, but I, I want to see it on a weekly because otherwise it's going to take ages in three hours to find the next resistance. Well, and why? <laughs> why not? Why not using this area here and waiting for Bitcoin to break that one? Mm? After all, we have this resistance here. It's also here in this doji I mean could could be I would not enter yeah I changed my mind I would not enter yet yes I know I would lose this but because it may go just there and drop again you know ah, because I'm expecting Bitcoin to make this correction really I'm expecting Bitcoin to make this correction and I just now shrink this area a little bit because we don't need it to be all the way back. I, there is already enough mess. But I may extend it for a few more. Well, on a weekly, I don't need to extend it. But anyway, let's do that. So. so, possibly, I would, yeah. Well, if you enter now, and, well, it wouldn't be so much profit, to be honest. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a fight. Well, people would take a 6%, 5% profit. So, yeah, but then from from once here, I would probably be careful and maybe sell some, 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 yeah, yeah, definitely. And then the next one is the 38% retracement Fibonacci of this impulse wave. So really, we have this, this whole area here. But yeah, you can enter, and if it breaks this, then the next goal is this, which is 12,050. Five hundred dollars ish. While this is a very, a very good point from a, a, a follower, a YouTube um, user on Digibyte analysis, and I thank you for that. I, I'm going to thank you properly in the other video, but yeah, he asked me to tell the price of my positions and things because it makes it easier. And yeah, so the next resistance is at eleven thousand nine hundred, right? And then we have this one at 12,500 12, ish, this is, which is written here 12,462. I would say 12,500. And um, so, yeah, that's what I would do. But yeah, I think it's going to go up. Well, let's check in the hour. The hour, the hour, yeah, it's, it's going up again. I think it's going up again. It's not losing the steam just yet, it's actually bouncing on the overbought looks like it's going to go up again and it bounced actually it crossed and at a certain point yesterday night and then it went up again and it's going up again so yeah it's more likely going to go up now the thing is is it going to go just at five percent six percent i would expect i would if it was me now i would probably place a buy order 
in the area of 11,200 to be honest because I think it's going to still do some you know <laughs> up and downs in this area and so I may be able to optimize because it's not such a big profit I will be able to optimize that and uh, in that case I think it's six percent in there so yeah and then we'll take some and unlike on the other time frames we can see that Bitcoin is actually following there is a convergence in RSI and on Bitcoin so definitely it's probably going to go up even though here it was high as high nearly as here but RSI is still lower so th there is a, a decline happening anyway well with this I would say it's all I can tell about Bitcoin so far so I am now more bullish than bearish on Bitcoin and this new resistance is now our support so this line here is now our support because we broke the resistance there which was present at the time and so yeah and that's probably very normal because now everybody starts to talk about Bitcoin and everybody is happy and everybody is telling me oh if I only had listened to you in November when you told me to buy Bitcoin there are not many people I told to buy I, I think there were like three five three four five people not many but yeah now they're asking me now they're asking me and now I don't know <laughs> it was easier when it was at the bottom to say it was going it was going to go up now up now it's not as easy and I wouldn't I wouldn't enter a now if I were a new a new investor a new trader I would not buy Bitcoin right now I would not at this point I would I would wait for it to drop that's it um, okay so I wish you enjoyed the video I hope you would yeah comment comment me and give me your opinions if there's something that I overlooked that if you use other indicators I I'm not familiar with other indicators but I know them so maybe if you I don't know if you use stochastics or um, I don't know something like that now nothing comes to my mind oh yeah the Bollinger Bands well I've seen them I've seen them I've I've learned something I don't use them but I still if you want to mention them that would be nice for me I can add them I can add as much as I want here on uh, trading view because I got the pro subscription if you have a free subscription I think you can use one or two indicators only but it's enough as long as you can see uh, can draw the lines which you can for free and you actually can register on trading view and start doing your own studies and you can also do paper trading you can do I can I can buy Bitcoin right now where is it yeah where is it I can buy Bitcoin yeah look by, by this paper trading and I got like I don't know how much I got lots of money in this account I think I have 100,000 fake dollars so you can do that and and it's it's fake money but it's the real exchange so you can make practice and I invite you to do it it's, it's free just register there's a link in the description register on TradingView see how it works start doing it because if you want to improve your life and if you want if you don't want to be one of those people who buy and hope that it goes up because they don't even know it can go down and make a profit anyway and whenever I say it's going to drop you dislike the videos which has happened with Tesla <laughs> um, you and you want to be serious you want it to you want this to turn into your day job that's the way you can you can start practicing it's free you can start doing it and you should really invest in books or other training materials and I if you happen to to register in the candle trust Academy before I do because I'm not doing it yet but I will let me know what you think about it. if you have a feedback I'm now recommending it because I love the book but I I don't have prior experience with that so that's one of the things I haven't tried but I based on my knowledge on the author I cannot see it really being bad and um, and also the, the added value that they have is that you will be followed so whenever you have a question whenever you you don't know what you did that it was wrong maybe you entered a position and it was wrong but everything was converging for you and uh, yeah they will tell you they will analyze it for you and they say no look wow you, you overlooked at this and this was a strong indicator that you should have waited or you should not enter a position at resistance. Right. 
things like that. And that, even though you may say, oh yeah, but it's a lot of money. Yeah, but it's a lot of money well spent because it will make you save. You know what? When I started to uh, selling on Amazon, I spent like $2,000 in training, okay? Those $2,000 eventually were just, let's say, wasted for, for the moment because the guy who sell this course, I, I'm really very dissatisfied with it, very dissatisfied. It makes it look easy for everybody. Well, it is not. It was a private label. So I, I just, you know, I wanted to, to try and I, I, I'm not going to do private label on Amazon or I'm not going to do private label in general yet. It's not something that I'm not going to do, but this $2,000 that I spent in the training were not wasted because they made me save potentially thousands of dollars lost in outsourcing or in, in buying something from a manufacturer. I was also going for a custom product, so I, I had all my customization. I, I got so many samples um, because from China they sent back to me and I was testing them with my own ideas. And um, yeah, these samples were good, but it was very risky, very risky for many reasons. This is a trading channel, so I'm not going to go in details. And I decided not to go, not to go for it, because at first, everybody now sells on Amazon like that. Everybody goes on Alibaba and, you know, those $2,000, by the way, which is the, the, the reason why I'm speaking about this, they were not wasted. They saved Ten, tens of thousands of dollars. So if you ever spend $500 for one year subscription on a platform where you are supposed to be followed, learned, and make a profit, even if that profit would just cover the $500 for that year, I mean, that would be good. And if, it's, and if you find out that they are saying just lots of rubbish, you just have invested $500 to find out that that is not something you want to follow. So it's not a waste of money. When you, when you spend money on, on things that are worth it, it's not, it's not really wasted money. Money is just a tool. And as long as you have a worker, an employee mentality, it will be very difficult for you to, to make real money. You need to change your vision of money in general that's really very important but anyway i'm sorry i was off topic for a while and probably the ones who want to who need to know this won't even watch this part i'm really sorry guys and girls um well actually only guys because i've noticed that on youtube the analytics st the stats say that i've got 100 percent audience of male so guys <laughs> um thanks for watching if you did if you like the video please like share and subscribe you know the, the usual things it will help me the, the channel is very new it's just slightly older than one month i need to go to thousands of subscribers which i want to now i'm, I'm aiming at 100 and then i will have aim at 1000 now please so do and if you didn't like let me know in the comments i will i want to do good content for you i really do want and i appreciate every feedback that i received like the one i mentioned the user telling me on uh, i need to see the name i i'm really horrible with names uh, I which way I will do now before doing Digibyte, in which I will thank him. Um, so yeah, um, I really want to make beautiful content for you, and um, I hope to have soon your feedback or just support. Uh, thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.